Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sipping Pretty. Hey y'all, it's me again. And I just wanna say again, y'all, I am so excited to be back taping my videos i'm just i'm so excited to be talking to y'all like i miss y'all so my name is diamond welcome to my channel if you're not familiar with me i just talk about celebrity gossip whatever the fuck i want to talk about um world news you know a little bit of this a little bit of that so if you think you like that if you like that stuff feel free to subscribe to my channel like comment you know do all that good stuff and i really appreciate everybody taking the time out to even watch my videos follow me on facebook follow me on instagram and yeah so today we are going to be talking about these crazy ass beauticians i don't even know where to start it, it's just so much going on like these people are really crazy like i miss the old days like y'all remember back in the day that we used to go to the salon to get our hair done i miss that being around all the black older black women Talking about their relationship problems. Somebody coming there selling uh, chi uh, wing dinners and they had a, the fake purses and stuff, the perfumes. Uh, what do we have at the time? DVDs and mixtapes and stuff like that. Like, it used to just be a vibe. Like, now, these bitches done lost their mind, y'all. What, what, what is going on with these beautician? What, what do you call these people? These cosmetologists. What, what are going? What's going on with these people? the rules are getting crazier and crazier by the day like they and and please y'all please if y'all if y'all had a crazy experience with a beautician a nail tech a lash tech whatever please comment down below i want to hear y'all stories these bitches have lost their mind they book inside they they say the first like okay this is how they book inside me y'all you click on there and be like hi thank you for um booking with shaniqua um i'm so happy to have your business then below it's like yeah bitch don't come late don't bring your kids wash your hair braid your hair tip me 20 dollars <laughs> <laughs> they'd be so crazy like the rules be outrageous so my main thing i don't have a i don't have a problem with nobody prices because my thing is how i'm gonna tell somebody what they're worth if you want to charge 200 dollars for a silk press do that i'm i won't be your customer but it's somebody that's going to pay that so i don't really argue about their prices your price is your price whatever but my thing is when they start saying dumb shit like i had experience with a beautician late fee you know if you be like god forbid if you be a millisecond late 50 million dollars 50 million dollars it's like bitch but you be late all the time but anyways so when I first moved to Georgia, I, um, you know, I had to find everybody new nail techs. I might do my nails, my toes, my lashes, my eyebrows, my hair, everything. So I, I did find this lady. I was liking her. Everything was cool. So I don't, I don't mind waiting a little bit. I know stuff happened. People be behind or whatever. But y'all, I kid you not. I went to this lady and I was waiting for two hours. And I'm like, I had to go get my daughter. Shit, I got stuff to do. If I wanted my appointment at a later time, I would have made it. I wanted it at this time. You need to see me at this time or at least within 30 minutes. I feel like if I, if I got to wait for 30 minutes, I'm cool. Anyways, y'all, so it was two hours later. So I go to the lady like, hey, I got to leave. I got to get my daughter. She's like, oh, okay, well, you know, that's a cancellation. I'm going to have to charge you. I said, how are you going to? So I don't remember the time, but say my appointment was at 3 and 5 o'clock. Because I'm scrolling on social media. Then I look up, I'm like, damn, I've been waiting for two hours. She like, oh, I'm going to have to charge you. I'm like, why would you charge me? And I'm here. I'm on time. I just have to go. I have stuff to do. Oh, you been here? What time was your appointment? I showed her. I'm like, it's at 3 o'clock. And she's like, oh, well, it is 5. I'm going to charge you half of the amount. I got to get out. This is enough for me. This, this is enough for me. Bitch, are you dumb? It's like, what? No, you're not charging me nothing. Like, it feel like I was in a twilight zone. You are late. I'm here. I'm on time. You the one decided to book 10 of us at the same time. Like, I just cannot believe that. And it's so crazy because she really, I never been back to her since. It's like, you really lost a good customer. I'm, if anybody know me, y'all know I'm always on time. Hell, I'll be somewhere 30 minutes. Be, I'll be somewhere 30 minutes early because I don't want to be a minute late. I don't like that. I value people's time. I respect people's time. And I want people to do the same thing to me. So I was always on time. I went to, I was going every week and I was tipping 10 to $20 each time. So it's like, 
you lost a good customer because you want to be greedy and overbook yourself like these these beautician people are fucking crazy i'm like what world are y'all living in so i seen somebody post on social media like okay i heard a no same day appointments but why she try to book with somebody and the lady gonna say some no <laughs> the lady gonna say some no say <laughs> Y'all, these people are out of their fucking mind. The lady's gonna say some no same week appointments. Uh, Ma'am, really? Are you kidding me right now? Like, no same week. <laughs> like, I read that and I fell out laughing. Like, what do you mean, no same week appointments? What do I have to book like a month ahead of time? Like, I was telling my beautician she's gonna say some. At this point, the bitches just don't want you to come. Exactly. How you gonna say no same week appointments? How soon do I have to book? How soon do I have to book? You tell me. You you tell me. You you tell just tell me when you want me to come. Like it's so crazy. So I went through so many nail techs. Comment down below and tell me if you having this problem too. Me and my sister have a hard time finding black. Like we'll find a black nail tech, but they don't do toes. I don't know what black people got against toes, but they not doing toes. So of course we just gotta go back to the Chinese people. And I want to keep my dollars circulating in the black community, but it's like now it's becoming a hassle to me. Like. But I really try my best. Like, I would literally drive, like, 30, 45 minutes out my way to support a black business. Because I know how important, how important that is to our community. But it's like, damn, bitch, I'm driving over here to do my nails. You don't want to do toes, so I got to go back to the Chinese people to do my toes. So it's like, anyways, so me and my sister, we go to the Chinese people for our nails and our toes. Or, you know, I want to be correct. I don't know if they Chinese, Korean, Oriental, or whatever. I'm not sure what they are, but... They somewhere along those lines, and that's who we go to do our nails and our toes. And me and my sister, we really be looking for black people to patronize or whatever. And it, it's just hard. It's so hard. It, it it really is hard. And the rules are getting crazier and crazier by the day. Like you book an appointment, and they're like, okay, bitch, you want to book with me? That's two million dollars. You better come with your dusty ass hair wash you better come with your fucking braids already braided in and you better come with a, a cap already don't bring no fucking kids don't even look at me don't even talk to me if you are two seconds late i will charge you another two million dollars um if you even it, it's just like <laughs> it's crazy the rules are crazy now don't am i lying y'all please comment down below tell me the craziest rule or something that you see in on a um a beautician or a nail tech or whatever that you seen on a site like this one girl gonna say i'm working out my home so don't ask to use my bathroom what girl you could be i was getting my nails done. i'm like i could be sitting there getting my nails done for a, up to an hour and a half to two hours and you tell me i can't pee like what the hell like <sighs> Shout out to my beautician, Keisha from Toledo, Ohio, from back in the day. I used to go to her. Me and my sister and my mom, we used to go to her for years. Um, it was on the north side. Oh, my God. I'm just, I'm just, it just made me feel warm even just, you know, thinking about this and remembering all this. But my beautician name was Keisha. She worked in a shop off of Elmer, and it was called Creations by Agnes. Agnes passed away, the owner, but she was such a autumn in there was I, I really i really did enjoy going to the shop so shout out to you keisha like you that's that old school beautician who washed your hair scrubbed your scalp you know got it in and you ain't mind bringing that like calling your beautician like hey girl i know you're working all day you want a coffee you want something you want me to bring you something like it's, it's just a, the, the experience is totally different everything is i understand that everything is different in this day and age but some stuff I just can't get jiggy with it. Like, no. Like, you bitches have lost your mind. I don't know where y'all brain went, but I'm going to need y'all to figure it out. Like, y'all, is crazy. Like, how you going to try? Why is it a late fee for me? But when you late, bitch, you, 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 it'd be so funny because, bitch, you know my appointment was at one and you sitting here finishing up this quick weed, bitch. You can't even look at me in my face because you know I've been sitting here for two hours. Like, but if I'm late, you swiping up my cars. Oh, this bitch was late. You on Facebook. I'm sick of these motherfucking late clients. Bitch, you having a motherfucking meltdown. But y'all be late every single day. Y'all cancel every single day. I seen this one girl recently. She just went live and was saying that she booked an appointment and the girl texts her two minutes before the appointment and say, no, I got to cancel. You can't come. Like, what is wrong with y'all? People have a 
important things to go to photo shoots weddings vacation and stuff like that and y'all canceling y'all gonna when somebody beat y'all ass oh you know what somebody did get there <laughs> somebody did get their ass beat i don't know if she canceled the girl whatever the case may be but the girl was waiting for her ass and beat the fuck out of her like stop playing with people everybody is not mentally stable up here y'all fucking around people time fucking around people people money and i don't condone violence you know i definitely ain't putting my hands on somebody everybody is not saying quit fucking around y'all want to cancel appointments charge for this charge for this if you if you look at me extra ten dollars if you lay extra ten dollars if you even sit in this chair extra ten. it's like god damn like at this point i'm about to start youtube you know youtube teach you everything i'm about to start curling my own hair and shit like like this is just getting crazy and like i said shout out to my old school beautician keisha and my beautician here talia she is a bomb so after i had some bad experiences here i went to my beautician talia and it's just so crazy because we on the same vibe come to find out she's from ohio too i think i'm from Toledo, ohio she is from dang girl if you're watching this tell me where you're from she either from columbus or cleveland ohio but you could tell she definitely was on the same page as, as I was. I think I've been going to her for almost three years. I can only name two times where I had to work. Wait, out of three years, y'all, two times where she was like running behind a little bit. And I really feel like one time the power went out or something went out in the plaza. So it wasn't even her fault. Out of three years, I, I literally get in and get out. And I just love her. Her prices are good. She's good. Her work is good she did this so yeah so it's just like i'm sticking with her until she ain't doing hair no more like y'all is getting out of control so i do she she does my hair like i said i go to the asian chinese people to do my nails but i really try to get my dollar keep it in the black community but y'all just really get out of hand sometimes like all these rules like when that girl told me i couldn't use her bathroom like <laughs> Oh, poor baby. Bitch, where am I miss at? <laughs> and my, I have a weak bladder. I have a, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. And I remember, I, I remember I went to this one girl house for an appointment and she was like, I went to this one girl house for an appointment and she was like, don't, when you go, she let me use the bathroom, but she was like, when you use the bathroom, please only use one paper towel, use this, use I'm like, mm, I wanna come back here. <laughs> Too many rules. Too many rules. But like I said, only thing I don't argue with is the prices. If you want to charge a million dollars for a silk press, go ahead. Everybody, you can't tell nobody they're worth. Go to who you can afford. But as far as y'all rules, y'all beauticians, and the, the one of the work the another rule that grind my gears is why is y'all talking about people gotta wash their hair before they come to y'all? Like that is so fucking disgusting. Like, you don't want me washing my hair before I come because I'm I'm not really a I don't know how to probably get it like how you gonna get it like don't you i believe that the style would be fresher and better if you wash the hair like y'all but they so these beauticians that's why everybody here broke off and shit you got a patch right here patch right here edge is gone you know it, because these beauticians don't care it's all about a dollar like you know your beautician don't give a fuck about you if she having you wash your hair at home like and I, I never went to hair school, but I know my sister, she's a beautician, y'all. And I think when you wash their hair, that's how you're supposed to, you know, go through their hair and see if they got, like, um, issues and diseases and stuff like that. If you skipping that part, how do you know what's even going on in my hair and my scalp and stuff like that? Like, they just don't care. They just want your money. And it's just like, I'm telling y'all, people was getting fed up with y'all. If you was a beautician or a nail tech or a lash tech and you watching this video and you know you be doing dumb shit like that, if I was you, I would stop because... These bitches ain't playing with you, y'all, no more. Like, y'all gonna be like that one girl. She coming outside and the bitch run down on you. Like, y'all have to stop. Respect our time. Like, y'all want us to respect y'all. And, you know, I just don't understand where that disconnect came. Why is it y'all is off the chain? These rules, these late fees, double booking, canceling last minute. Like, these people make you want to, these want to beat the fuck out of them. Like, seriously. And that's why I stick with my people because I don't want to put my hands on nobody. So I, I stick with my people. My beautician, she's great. You know, so I'm going to stick to her. But yeah, comment down below. I, I, I know because I be seeing y'all stats on social media. I know y'all had the same problem. When when that one girl posted that somebody said no same week, <laughs> no same week appointments, like you're on drugs. 
It, I mean, there's no way around it. Drugs. How do you tell me no same week appointment? Even a doctor's office take a same week appointment. Like, I mean, it's to the point where I think something is mentally wrong with these people. Something is really, it's something up here. So, I don't know. Maybe they be feeling themselves. You know, somebody, they do one too many clients or do somebody uh hair makeup off love and hip hop or you know a local celebrity they just think they i don't know i, I don't know what's going on but i know I, i'm not the only one like i said i have my set people now but when i first moved here the i'm like ooh, i'm gonna have to just i'm gonna just be put a scarf on my head or something these bitches is tripping <laughs> so yeah i, I don't know I don't know what it is. Ladies, if y'all have a crazy story that you want to tell me, please comment down below. I want to hear y'all stories. I know I'm not the only one. Tell me a time one of these, they played you. They canceled your hair appointment at the last minute. Tell me a time where you almost had to beat a bitch, beat, beat a bitch up because she canceled your appointment and you was about to go out of town. You know, please feel free to share your stories. This is a safe space. I want to know because I know I'm not the only one. So... Anyways, they have to do better, and it's all about respect. We respect their time, but also they have to respect us. And, girl, unless you did Beyonce hair or makeup and all this stuff, please, come down. Come down. It's going to be the best advice you get for 2021. Come down. Relax. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. If you like this video, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Please, for real though, I want to hear y'all stories. Comment down below. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all next time. Oh, 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 follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.